Good morning, church. I am sitting out of our college ministry building over by the Baylor campus, and I was going to show you all inside, but they're doing a lot of work this morning, and I don't want to disrupt any of that because we want them to finish this as soon as possible. It's also super loud in there right now, lots of hammering, um, lots of good work happening, and I'm sitting here looking at this unfinished building, um, and I want to give us encouragement this morning because I think Sometimes we have a lot of expectations um, for the world around us, maybe even for ourselves or the people around us. And we have a lot of expectations for this building. Um, I mean, we want ministry to happen in here. We want um, a place where college students feel like they can come study, where they can come and it feels like home, um, where they can grow in their faith. And yet this building is still unfinished. And where it still, you know, has good work that's gonna be done um this building is still not finished it's not what it's going to be yet um and i think we need to remember that when we think about ourselves um that christ is continually to work in our heart um we believe in this process of sanctification i'm um, in the wesleyan tradition and this um, belief of christian perfection that we can be perfected in love um, that that is what we move towards continually and some days we make strides forward and some days we take strides back um, in being perfected in love and being made more holy in the image of God and the world around us right now feels utterly broken um, and we have to remember that the best is always yet to come um, that's the the theme of the gospel the theme of this entire biblical narrative that God is coming to make things right once again to restore the world around us so I want to just read a couple of passages from um, Philippians and Paul is writing um, to the church in Philippi here and he starts off chapter one is all about thanking um, these people because they have stuck by his side even when he was in prison they supported him um, they encouraged him. They stayed faithful to the things that they knew they were called to. Um, and this church was facing trials. Um, and yet they stayed faithful. And so Paul's just thanking them. Um, and in here he writes, we're going to read um, verse, starting in verse 3, chapter 1, verse 3. Um, we're going to read a few verses here. It says this, I thank my God in all remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. And it is right for me to feel this way about you because I hold you in my heart for you all are partakers with me of, of grace, both in my imprisonment, imprisonment and in the de defense and confirmation of the gospel. So Paul is thanking um, the church in Philippi, but he's also saying that his heart is full of joy when he thinks about them. Um, and that's my hope in prayer, that when people think about me, when people think about our church, um, they are thankful of the faithfulness, of the joy, of the support, but also He's saying that they are partakers um, in this in this grace of Christ, um, and there's a partnership in the gospel. And so we, as Christians, are called to be partners in the gospel and the good news of Christ, holding on that the work that Christ started um, in our hearts, but in our world, the work that Christ started in our world is um, He's going to bring it to completion. And it's, it's the good work. He's going to bring it com to completion on the day of Christ. And so hold hope this morning, my friends, um, that the best is yet to come. Um, there's a lot of workers out right now. Um, good morning. <laughs> um, that the best is yet to come and that we get to be partners in the gospel and bringing hope and good news um, to the world around us. And that's not just First Methodists, but that's Christians, that's Big C Church, that we are supposed to be partners in this good news um, and hold on to the hope that 
we know and we can assure people around us that although the world seems unfinished, that maybe our hearts feel unfinished, and that Christ is going to see it through and he's going to complete the work that he started because he is faithful. Y'all have a good Wednesday and we'll see y'all soon.